the Retrospect Disaster Recovery Boot CD will allow you to either restore a local disk, a network disk, or even restore data to dissimilar hardware. This video will show you the Retrospect Disaster Recovery Wizard that appears when you boot off of the recovery disk like we're doing now. You go through a standard Windows startup screen, followed by the loading of some uh, DOS commands that are required for Retrospect to interact with the temporary Windows environment. You'll accept the license agreements and click Next. And then you'll have several options. You can set up a hard disk, load drivers for the network or for other storage devices, map a network drive, restore locally, restore a client, or do dissimilar hardware. In this case, we're going to restore locally. And the Retrospect user interface is going to open so that we can do things like perform a catalog rebuild or go through the steps of a restore. The catalog rebuild is pretty standard and we have other videos that demonstrate this, but essentially you go to tools, repair catalog file, and then either select tape or disk to do the rebuild. We're not going to rebuild right now, so we're going to go ahead and cancel this window and we're going to look at the steps for doing a standard restore. You just go to restore, you switch to advanced mode, you tell it you want to restore an entire volume, you click OK, and then you pick your source, backup set, and snapshot. You pick your destination disk, you select your options, and then you begin the restore. In this case, we're doing the destination selection, and we're choosing restore entire volume. When the restore is all done, you'll essentially just close retrospect, and then the program will go into a reboot mode. And you can either reboot off of your restored hard disk, or if you're doing a restore to dissimilar hardware, you'll boot off of the retrospect recovery disk again so that you can get to the dissimilar hardware restore menu, which we're going to look at in a moment. We accept the license agreements again because we're booting off the disk a second time. We go to Next. We accept the agreements and go to Next. And then we choose the option to adjust drivers to support new hardware. After we select that option, we'll have a Next button. So we click Next, and then we select the disk that we want to recover or to adjust. So we select our operating system and click Next. And then we have a couple of options. We can automatically adjust all of the drivers, or we can set parameters for the OS adjustment. So we can go in and we can select specific drivers that we know we need to add, or we can inject uh, necessary drivers. So you can see that we get a, a standard Windows uh, list of, of disks. We can inject the necessary drivers if we need to do something more complex. In this case, we're just going to go back. We're going to adjust the OS automatically. We're going to apply the uh, changes that were automatically accepted. We click Next, and then we click Finish. Once we click Finish, then we can reboot. We would remove the CD, and then your computer will start up. 